Hey everyone, Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific. Uh, today what we're going to talk about is how to get the sharpest focus with your, uh, with any camera. You could use a smartphone or if you have a digital SLR uh, that you're attaching to your telescope or uh, maybe a dedicated science camera uh, that you purchased. But uh, there's some great focusing uh, aids that are out there today and a guy named Batinoff uh, made a design that looks like this, okay? And so I was able to download this off of a uh, website that was dedicated towards uh, uh, these Batinoff masks and uh, we took that design. Now what's interesting is Batinoff is uh, uh, you know, a great amateur astronomer, he lives in Russia. Uh, he came up with this design uh, to help astrophotographers get better images. And, and best focus, of course, is going to reveal more detail. Uh, it's going to really drastically improve your images uh, when you're achieving that perfect focus. And in astrophotography, perfect focus means that you're getting within about one ten thousandths of an inch, so you really need to nail it. Okay, and this is going to help you do that. So what we did is we took this template and I created a, uh, a cardboard uh, mask here. And so you can see um, all the lines in here uh, are clear, uh, clear cut through. And so the way that we're going to use it is we're just going to attach it to the front of the telescope. If I've got my iPhone, I'm going to use my iPhone uh, or my smart camera camera adapter. Now, in order to see what this is really like, we, we're going to use an artificial star. Uh, and it's really interesting because what this does is it makes diffraction spikes, meaning that you're going to get uh, lines or flares off of a star. It makes an X pattern. But the Batonoff mask has a characteristic where it makes a third uh, diffraction spike. And as we run through focus, I'm going to show you what that's like. So here we are with a, a test telescope. I've got the telescope aimed at an artificial star all the way across the warehouse here in the Explore Scientific uh, building. We use this for testing telescopes, uh, but it's great for showing and, and demonstrating how the Batonoff mask will actually work. So all I have to do is I get the telescope set up on our artificial star. I have a camera set up here. We have a display on a computer screen and um, I get it to roughly the best focus I can by eye, and then I'm gonna put the baton off mask on. Okay, so what I have is um, I have a artificial star uh, set up. We, we keep an artificial star in the Explore Scientific building, so we can do all kinds of different types of testing. Um, but uh, so you'll see as I start to go through focus here, um, th this is what, you know, your star will, show these rings, these concentric like record groove type rings. But as you start to get closer and closer to focus, you know, the image gets smaller and smaller. And there's some, some guys that uh, have a knack for just looking at it and getting that perfect focus. But remember, you're, you're trying to get within one ten thousandths of an inch of perfect focus. And so scintillation or atmospheric uh, turbulence is going to play a role. Um, you've got uh, uh, also just, you know, your, I, I think your eye can kind of uh, compensate for, for focus a little bit or what you might, you're just going to kind of judge what's, what's the best focus. But how do we really determine it? Well, that comes back down to uh, attaching the Batonoff mask. And so what I'm going to do is, is uh, put the mask onto the front of the telescope. Okay, so you see how it changed the look of the, the star here. So what, what we're looking for is this cross pattern right here. These, these real faint lines here are the diffraction spikes. And then we've got this long pronounced diffraction spike in the middle. So when I roll through focus, you're gonna see that the diffraction spike can move to that side of the X or to that side of the X. And what we want to do is we want to move it so that we have the diffraction spike right in the middle of the X. And once you've hit that, you're at perfect focus. And then you can take the Batonoff mask off and you are at the best possible focus. And you're going to have razor sharp images of your galaxy or nebula or your planet that you're trying to image. 
So thanks for watching this video. In our next video, what we're gonna talk about is the kind of mount that you need for doing astrophotography. Obviously, you're gonna want something that tracks, something that's gonna keep the image centered, you know, and hold that careful composition that you're making. Uh, so look forward to uh, showing you uh, some of the equatorial tracking mounts that we have, and uh, keep looking up.